this video is on multiplying rational expressions. All right, when you see a monomial multiplied by a monomial, it's easier if you would, um, or there's two methods that you can use. The first method is if you want to um, mark out within the problem, like 6 over 18 would be a 1, 3, 10 over 2 would be 5, and a 1. And x squared on top, a y squared on the bottom, we can't cross that out, but the y cubed we can, so we're going to cross out that and make a y. When you're doing this method, make sure that you write really neat. All right, x squared on the bottom, x cubed on top, that leaves us an x on top. No x's on the bottom. You have a y to the fourth, a y squared. That leaves me a y squared on top. No y's on the bottom. So then you go back and you multiply what you haven't crossed off and what you have renamed. So it would be 5. x squared times x will give me x to the third y times y squared would be y to the third and then on the denominator I only have a 3 so my answer would be 3 x cubed y s cubed should be y cubed because I've got a y times a y squared so it gives me y cubed all over 3 now this method you have to be really neat with now there's another method that you can just go ahead and multiply across so if I do that I get 60 x to the fifth, y to the seventh. And then on the bottom, I have 2 times 18, which would be 36, x to the second, y to the fourth. And then you just simplify your answer. 60 over 36 is 5 thirds, so you have 5 on top, 3 on the bottom. Y, x to the fifth over x to the second would be x to the third. And then you have y to the third. So we get the same answer, it's just two different methods. This one's neater, this one you get the answer quicker. All right, when you have a multiplication of rational fractions like this, you need to factor. Remember, you cannot cross off parts, you have to factor. So the top would factor to x plus 2, x minus 1. The bottom, the denominator, factors to x minus 2 x minus 3. The numerator of the second fraction uh, factors to x minus 3, x plus 1, and then x squared minus 1 is x plus 1, x minus 1. Now as long as the entire expression matches you can mark it off. So x minus 1, x minus 1, x plus 1, x plus 1, x minus 3, x minus 3. So we're left with a final answer of x plus 2 over x minus 2.